Hi, this is Jessica Bowman with SEOinhouse.com, and we have Marcus Renstrom with Yahoo. So Marcus is a great in-house SEO willing to share some of his information. Now, you joined Yahoo, was it a year ago? Well, actually, I've been at the company for seven years, uh -huh. uh, but I've only been in the U.S. for about a year and a half. So okay. it's kind of like coming to a new company, right, when you come out to the headquarters. Right. Uh, but yeah, it's seven, seven years total. Okay, so it's like coming out to a new company. So what did you do when you started that you think really made the difference? Um, I think that the major problem that we have at Yahoo is really implementation. Uh, implementation and scale. Uh, how can you make people change their behavior? Uh, it's very easy to do trainings and do a lots of them, um, but it's also a tendency that you do a training, people go back to their table and they do the same thing over again. They don't, uh, you know, they don't apply what you said. Um, so I think that what we have been working with really is um, to take ownership of SEO and take ownership of the key SEO factors. Um, and that's really done a huge difference for us. Um, so we went from really having um, you know, each, each time someone redesigned or launched something, it was a negotiation process. Um, now it is really that we own domains, we own URLs, we own tagging, which means that uh, we set the standard for this is how you do domains, this is how you do URLs, this is how you do t tags per page type, uh, which me really means that instead of having our team work 80% on negotiation and trying to get stuff implemented, um, we have, can really refocus that on them working on content and making sure that we have the correct content for trending terms. Um, so really the ownership and, and standardization of the process has been really key for us. And what are the things that you did that got SEO to own those types of activities? Because most SEO programs don't. That's quite innovative for you guys to be doing that. Yeah, and I think that, I mean, for us, it's really a number of things. Um, so, of course, I would advise like anyone that works at SEO, be that a big company or a small company, to do the same. I also understand the difficulty in doing it. Uh, it were really a bunch of things that came together, uh, everything at the same time. So one was that we've had a long history of SEOs pushing SEO, uh, making a lot of noise about it, um, showing kind of what company was missing. Uh, so that's a huge, huge factor. Um, second factor uh, was really that we, we changed from um, having each property, so when I say a property, I mean Yahoo Movies, Yahoo OMG, uh, Music, etc. Uh, from being on separate platform, going together, actually using the same platform. So now we're in the work process of actually onboarding all the properties to the same platform. In that work, so I'm actually on that platform team, uh, really what they wanted to do was to standardize everything, right? Because that's the only way that you can actually take very different kind of things and put it on the same platform. So it was really kind of luck, really a combination with hard work and also that the product director for this new platform, he is very pro SEO and that makes a huge, huge difference, right? Um, so I think that those kind of three things coming together really enabled us to do this and uh, really it has made a huge, huge difference to, to how we work and what we can do. And so those companies that, that maybe they forward this video to the IT department or product management department, how does how do people at Yahoo react to this? How is it working now that you have it? Is it something you would recommend for other companies? I would definitely recommend it. And s something that really surprised me is that you know when we sat down and we said, okay, we're going to do a demand st standard, a URL standard. That's quite you know significant thing, right? And a lot of people always have opinions about it. Uh, product people will have opinions. Engineers will have opinions. Even designers. Um, so when we actually sat down and we did this, we of course did it together with engineering team to make sure that it actually works. Um, but what surprised me when we actually started onboarding all of these properties that actually no one complained. Um, and it was actually the other way around. People were quite happy of having that issue solved already uh, because it is a huge negotiation, it takes a lot of time. And I think that the way that I would sell it to a company, be that big or small, is that you really gain a lot of resources and you become much faster in implementation because you actually skip that entire really painful negotiation process and specification process. You go just from idea, we have this idea of a property, and then you jump to implementation really. And all of that, you know, specification and recommendation and, and seeing if that can be implemented and going back and forth, you actually jump over that. So I would really say, sell it as, you know, you can actually gain um, a lot of speed and you actually uh, gain a lot of resources as well that can be put somewhere else. And, and the key is that you're, you're still doing the activities and you're still taking into account the needs of all of the different stakeholders that want input. It's just that 
maybe you facilitate that gathering of that input, incorporating it into it, so that these other people, in essence, have more free time to do it. It's not exactly. that you're doing anything in isolation or making decisions on your own. Yeah, and, I, and I would I would say that it's not a dictatorship where you know we we went. This is how you do it. Period. Um, I mean, it was a, of course a discussion process, but as I said, I think that. It's, it's really what we're taking a lot of information and put it in one place and saying, you know, this is how we're going to do it and this is our identity. Mm -hmm. um, and people have been really, really uh, positive towards that. And I was, I was surprised, as I mentioned before. But um, it also enables us now that, you know, I can go on vacation two weeks and they can launch something and, and nothing happens because they, they just use uh, the standard format. And also, um, you see threads and email threads where, where you might not be in there and an engineer or product people person can say, oh, you know, we, we cannot do this because it actually does not fit the standard. So those are the things that makes you really happy uh, to see. Because, but it doesn't mean that a battle is won. It just means that you have, you know, stepped a huge step forward uh, in actually doing what you should be doing, which is not think about the platform, you know, think about content, think about are we having the trending terms that, that are surfing now.